the tour of England has gone well for King Bjorn. The local lords, earls and jarls have welcomed King Bjorn and their new liege lord in the realm. He has visited almost most all of the most important earls, jarls and lords of the realm. The tour was a successful endeavor and brought peace to England and to the entire realm. Now King Bjorn can sit on the throne of the, the kingdom of Norregru without having a trouble with a rebellion in England. Hello everyone, my name is The Last Dragonborn and welcome to a new episode on the adventure of our new, uh, our uh, hiking king, however you want to call it, Bjorn, uh, the honorable, the honorable, uh, last time he had made a big tour around England and uh, of course raids over across the Italian peninsula the Arabian Empire what Atab they have a rebellion I see yeah well the Byzantine can uh, do something about it Nifon Basileus Nifon like uh, Kazaria look at that well uh, and we have tried to conquer Sweden but uh, our claim of failed so right now we can uh, just do a seize de jour duchy and that's uh, we, that we can get out of territories which of Poland we, uh, we had a vassal that had a claim on a freaking whole part Porfrink claim and Wester Götland and Njdung, Njdung. Okay. Conquer a duchy. Yeah, Matland. Well, uh, we should focus now. I want to conquer Wales, but... Yeah, let's see. Alfred the Impaler. Impaler. Oh, it's no big problem. We can conquer them. They have an ally in, uh, in Alba. Mercy and Howis will not enter, also the Herut Ford will not enter. So, uh, Prince S. Eastmund. This guy will get Wales. Well, I don't care. Let's do a second invasion now of England, or the invasion of Wales, basically. Uh, a nice title for this video, to be honest. The empty throne. To be honest, I don't care about you and the throne. Whoa, 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 wait. Who are you? How the heck did they got that much? Oh, they are uh, forming a chiefdom of Mecklenburg. Okay, rather troops. Oh, heck. Uh, let's call king this king. You can call vassal uh, this girl. Oh, you can vassalize. Okay. A shield maiden. Okay. That's good. That's nice. Kingdom of Pomerania. Potential allies. Negotiated allies. Let's see. Are still on the Gauti. Nice. Actually, that's nice and good. It's my cousin, actually. Uh, I think we can call him too, right? No, we can't.
Marvelous news. We have many sons that are not uh, married. We have Holm, Holm Friedr, that uh, she's a shield maiden. Let's marry Baldr, though. Let's see an alliance. Uh, relevance alliance power. Well, guys, I'm back, and I've allied a lot of lords around. Uh, Sap me, and also uh, Munster, and I think some other lords. Uh, I forgot about them. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I have allied them and now uh, they are helping me with a lot of troops. Like you see here, I have 27k, I think including the allies, yeah. So we have, uh, these are all the allies that are in. Ah, also Turov, by the way. Turov is a big dude here. And let's wait. Let's destroy Frisia first. Of course, they'll try to uh, uh, just here land near because uh, we need to be near the army, not to take the freaking. Nice! Come on, boys! And we defeated Frisia <laughs> and their whole army. A big battle was fought. We have now to go and conquer Ostfriesland from their hands. She's what? She's Catholic, of course she's. Let's go and uh, conquer uh, Ostfriesland. <laughs> oh, we'll battle, ag battle again. Uh, Battle of Varel. In four months, that dude will be ours. We have a lot of children, dude. Bukan, Alliance Power. You know, Sorbia, Munster, you need something Nordmark. Uh, Yardom of Finland. Uh, I think Pora is good. Nice, we'll have another ally. We have defeated them so easily, man. So easily, to be honest. Okay, we have got another army, and I think with this siege it will be over, yeah. Let's enforce demands. And we got 97 coins. Come on, bro. I should have got. got uh, more gold, I think. Well, let's go back. Let's uh, let's help uh, our country. I see that some reports are happening in this area. Asatru has has spread to Jorvik, the North Riding, Riding, Riding. I think it's called. Uh, yet no one is. Here is a, a hybrid uh, culture between Nords and Anglo-Saxons, from what I see. The invasion of Wales is going well. Come on. Let's go to... This area, oh come on. Need more supplies though. My allies will eventually 
hostage. Inga, another children. Oh my god, 6k. So hard to retain those 6k in one province. Oh, here in South Werk. South Sa South Werok. Okay. Duke Burgred. Born for Gaelo Norse. Norse and Gaelic. What? Another hybrid? Yeah, this is. Wow, bro, I like this. I, I really like this. So, the Nords that have conquered this area, basically my ally, Katan, Katanes, uh, has formed a hybrid culture between the Scots and the Norse, or the Ga Gaelic people. Basically, the ancestor of the Highlanders, or the Highlanders. So, uh, they have formed here. Like, the Irish are no more, basically, these are Norse Gale, and these here are Gaelo Norse, basically, two different cultures. Because these are Ar Irish and uh, Nordic people, uh, and here are uh, uh, Highlander or or Scottish Pictish, this kind of Celts from here uh, with Norse. Okay, we need more supplies because we are out of supplies. Prosperity first and foremost. Oh come on! Uh, it, it's all it's nine hundred fifty-one. Come on, bro. We can't stay north. We'll become because we don't control eighty percent of all north counties. Come on, bro. How I do not control that? <sighs> Freak that, man. <laughs> we are everywhere Norwegian. What is this culture, though? The, ah, diverged from, yeah. Sweden, Estonian, Polabian, Norwegian. Well, basically, Norwegian is North, Nordic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, everyone, every lord became Norwegian now. Oh, my allies conquered this title here. Yeah, everyone is Norwegian now. Kingdom of Finland, I see. Well, I, I, I will uh, keep it that way. I can't do anything if I do that. I should have conquered the... Uh, the thing is that uh, when I didn't conquer Sweden, that... Uh, schooly. Okay. The, uh, the invasion of Sweden has gone uh, wrong, and that's why it became a culture head. Woo! I like the beard though and the uh, hair. Bjorn is indeed a well behaved man. Let's uh, help this guy, I guess. Have problems with uh, supplies, I see. It should be over soon enough. will conquer each fortress until we can force uh, the subject okay just sign after the whole was won by Duke Herbert so the Herbert won the war against the Holy Roman Empire well that's a disgrace if you ask me and I see French has formed well, French was formed, I guess, before I watched that. Uh, well, the Normandy is still alive, somehow. <laughs> and the next lure is Alexander Oster. Okay. Oh, because the, uh, Normandy had Britain and Normandy, basically. But because of the, uh, the ruler dying and having and didn't form uh, any kingdom, they can form uh, basically Brittany, but... I know, that depends on them, I guess, on the AI. AI. Freak 
freak that man the contender died 29 resources three months okay we need a marshal the contender died basically when uh, I invaded Sweden the contender for the throne of Sweden or a big chunk from from Sweden and because of that uh, that sealed my fate I guess hard rule hard rada Bjorn hard rada <laughs> nice So Scotland, Scotland. This guy is now uh, a ruler of Scotland. There, there is no longer a, a Gaelic ruler. Basically, the Charles just. This is the only ruler that. Uh, oh, never mind. Oh yeah, this this girl is the only Celtic ruler in the British Isles. The rest of them are basically North Norsemen or a hybrid of of them. Okay, uh, let's go here. Let's go here, and you'll go here. Who are you? And who are you? Kronstadt. Kronstadt. King Alfred for an alliance. Peter might join in a Norwegian war for Prince Esmond claim on Kingdom of Wales. Well, I don't care to be honest. I'll still won. Bro, I said you'll go there. Come on. Just listen to me. <laughs> and all will be alright. Nice, we have some provisions here. We can go and conquer this title here. Where is the catapults? Of course, they are here. Let's go conquer Matraffel. Siege will be over soon enough. Son, son, son learn language, okay? So we need a new steward. Let's uh, assign this guy. Uh, all of them are basically Norse people. Oh, my my wife is Russian. Yeah, all of them are Norwegian, or at least a Nordic culture. And uh, the Duke uh, Ed Bold is uh, Anglo-Saxon. This is the only member that is. Uh, Anglo Saxon or something like that. Gloucestershire. Uh, come on! Don't have provision? Provisions for me? Well, I guess you don't have for 6k people. Let's go here with this army. And let's go up here with this army to provide some provisions. To provide some provisions, okay? That was weird to say. Nice, we won. It's over for them. Uh, oh, really? What the heck? No way, bro, no way. Come on, bro. So I need to held England for 30 more years, and I can afford the North High North uh, to secure the High Kingdom of the North Sea, basically to form the the North Sea Empire. Title history, 
Let me see. Usurped. Uh, yeah, I need to hold it like for 10 more years or something like that. Uh, let me reorganize the troops and let's. Uh, Let's con conquer the county here. I don't need any allies to help me conquer anything. Okay, let's uh, move here. They are. They do not have any troops. Zverker, okay. Of course, the Irish are still Irish in their blood. Porun, Edla, Shetil, Hrane. Gotske. Oh, so basically, this dynasty holds the north, the Gotske dynasty. They have all of these parts of Scotland basically and I Iceland is the only Norse that's kind of true is the only la Nordic language that stayed almost true to their former uh, roots in the Norse and then basically in the Nordic language that all Norse had one point spoken it, this is kind of weird they should have a uh, Put it this way, you should have uh, controlled at least two kingdoms, Norway and Denmark, to or at least to form a hybrid culture between them. You know, if you are Norway and you control Sweden, you should have formed uh, Swedish Norwegian or or just to remain Norse at least. You know, you control most of part, but the latter kingdom that is uh, uh, isolated from the from the Union Kingdom, like Norway and Denmark, like I have the Norway and Denmark, I should not uh, take the decision to form like Norwegian or something like that. So that's kind of lame, but if you ask me, I'm looking at the culture right now. So a lot of Kurdish, Yazidi, Yazdi. What's uh, this culture? Karluk, okay. Tengri, a lot of Tengri and Manikan. And Mongolia. Now, look at the Mongolia, dude. They're controlled by the Kazakhs. And Bulgaria! Oh, this is wild indeed. The Magyars failed in their attempt of conquering uh, Central uh, Europe. Very badly, I see, and the Orthodox faith is is bustling now. If that is a word, I see. <laughs> offer a hostage. I can offer a hostage. Yeah, lol. Your daughter and champion. Uh, I'll send my grandson. Let me see. So, Svein, I'll send my Svein, maybe we can uh, convert him to orthodoxy, convert the whole country. No, I'll not send my Svein, but I'll send Skuli. As a hostage, Schooly, where is Schooly? Very good. Who will be watched? Bjorg, okay. Welcome Bjorg on the world. Your good father that's trying to build for you, I guess. 
let's destroy this army, this little army. In three months, uh, we'll have the victory. <clears throat> Inventor artifact destroyed. Initial necklace. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Force demands. Thank you. I helped you. I uh, helped you for the throne of Wales, and now this is what how you pay me, you wretched people. Well, let's see the vassals around, I guess. Mostly Mercia. Mercia. Yeah, Mercia. Uh, I'll give it to this guy. Grand titles here. Here, you have it. Found a new empire. Raise a runestone. Let's raise one. King Istmund. Oh, it's on Rogaland. Let's see who we can vassalize. Can grant. Teber. Who is Teber? Pekeneg and Ukunusko. Great accolade. It's kind of old, but it's good. Humphrey can marry. Oh, she's she's pregnant with someone. No way. You can pardon criminals. Who is she? Oval Satya. Okay. Let's see. Lady Olwen. Olwen and V2. Okay, let's uh, station them. We can't station them in. We have to station them in Winchester. Will help us. Ooh, we are a living legend and almost a religious icon. Except still have this Cornish girl that is not doing anything. She doesn't have a child. She shall soon die. So I'm sorry. I gave you a lot of territories though, for you to expand the culture. Okay, let's see, Munster, we are allied with Munster, we can do anything to it, but we can conquer Leinster. We can subjugate her, we have already done one, one time that, uh, oh come on. Dutch of Connacht. Let's wait actually. Let's improve some buildings though. Uh, no, we cannot upgrade that. We cannot upgrade this. Hmm. Let's see. Bjorgin. Cannot upgrade that. Neither this, neither that. Hmm. I think you can feudalize somehow. If I'm not wrong. Revoke the term person DT adopt special succession type. You have the law of so tribal authority and we need a satru is now an organized faith. So we can't 
feudalize. Uh, we can feudalize when we will form this, but we need to hold England for more years. So uh, I'll come back when uh, I think I I'll have England uh, all ruled for 30 years. So uh, I'll be back with that. Well, guys, I'm back, and uh, after a lot of time of waiting, uh, I have uh, managed to let me see secure the Kingdom of England for 30 years. And uh, before I did that, uh, one of my pastors subjugated the King of Sweden, and here we are trying to reconquer the territories. Well, I did, did uh, reconquer them, so be it, we have everything we need, let's bring the troops <coughs> back into our country. Who is this? Oh, Tyr, okay. Never mind, let's wait a little bit to disband the army. And guys, the moment that we all were waiting for, above all, a high king. <coughs> the Kingdom of England, Denmark and Norway are a natural match, rich, fierce and bound together by trade and noble blood. If only someone could overcome the individual individualism, wedding the three permanently. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, above all, a high king. The high king of the north. It has long been an ambition, been my ambition to reunite the great kingdoms of, of the North Sea beneath a single permanent crown. For years, I, ha I have toiled, winning recognition as a great ruler of each of my re realms in turn. Indeed, and today I make good on my dream. After extracting carefully warded oaths of un unceasing fealty from key vassals of Saxon, Norwegian and Dane alike, have acknowledged my office as a High King, the undisputed overlord of the North Sea. May, mayhaps my descendants will continue to rule the kingdom as one, mayhaps they won't. Uh, thankfully it no longer matters, whoever wears the leather crowns all shall be bow, shall bow to the skald High King. And there we have it. Oh, look at this cool map. High King Bjorn the Sea King. One of the badass of his age. Let's see. Empire title. And there it is. North Sea, everywhere you are looking. Oh, the Normans have converted to Catholicism. Also, uh, when I was waiting, mostly I waged war in uh, in uh, Germany because uh, somehow I got uh, an alliance with Germany and uh, I helped them a lot in a lot of wars. That's why they are powerful now and have a lot of territories in the south and in the part in these parts here. So yeah. You can say anything about it, guys. Norwegian, Danish, and Anglo Saxon. We have a lot of territory. Also, I helped Munster conquer a lot of part of Ireland. Uh, let's see. Let's put a chancellor. I see we need a chance. Okay. So I had a little bit of lag, I guess. A lag. Uh, okay, pay ransom, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Well, I don't like this coat of arms. Better emblem. Uh, the waves, let's put a boat. Man made. Where is the boat? A crown. Okay, that is looking sick though. Uh, and it shouldn't be 
should be like a red, nah, a white, nah, you know what, I should put an eagle, a skulled eagle, uh, man made uh, animals, okay, here, let's see the eagles of the north, okay, where it is, oh, here, Okay. Uh, let's delete this. Oh, uh, we can't. Uh, pattern. No. Hmm. I'll leave it like this, you know, uh, if you want me to continue, just let me know, if I have a lot of views and likes and comments, I will continue, uh, maybe we'll conquer uh, the whole Scandinavia and the uh, British Islands along with Iceland, and of course the Holy Roman Empire, the north of it at least, and we, we should maybe convert to orthodoxism or uh, catholicism one of it uh, a lot a, a big part so uh, one of the petty guys uh, where is the not this guy this girl this guy he was the king of nor of sweden so he, and he converted to catholicism and at one point uh, sweden was catholic <laughs> So yeah, that's why you see a lot of Catholic around this area and this area here. And Jorvik uh, has become a Satru too. I'm curious about the thing. Anyone converted to, to Catholicism or at least... Uh, uh, no. Everyone is basically the same. Welsh Anglo-Saxon, what? That's a culture, I guess? Guess so. Uh, we'll convert to one of these religions, you know. Uh, but we shall see. I'm inclined. Oh, nice. Someone actually converted to orthodoxism. I'm inclined to orthodoxism because uh, if I want to conquer the whole Scandinavia, uh, I might uh, conquer Novgorod too, or at least help him, and I, I, I want to have uh, good ties with Novgorod, so... Zaporizhia, what? What happened to the... Oh, I guess they collapsed or something. The, the Kazaria. Yeah, bro. Yeah, the Empire collapsed or something. This we had abdication and this guy destroyed it. I think the guy that controls... I think so. Anyway, uh, because of the good ties that I have with the, the Rus, no way, dude, <laughs> the, the House of Normandy controls now the White Rus, and of course, I haven't shown you, uh, Novgorod is now again controlled by a Rurikid, and it's a big, big kingdom now. Uh, Apostolic, what? Apostolic? I see a lot of apostolic around. Mordvin. Yeah, a lot of Khazarian, Khazarians have converted to apostolic. Mesquera. Okay. Volga, Bulgaria. Yeah, a lot of people have actually con uh, converted. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Sahara, Halabid. Oh, the, the the Arabs have uh, collapsed, basically. Wow, that's good news for the Empire of Byzantium. Indeed, it's a good news. Oh, Al Andalus is big too. Holy Roman Empire, it's it's big. To be honest, look at it. 
no longer uh, any of the Dalmatia is a thing around. Hungary is no longer around. With uh, just a few, few titles around. And let's see the cultures. We see a lot of cultural flag around. Basically, <laughs> uh, Montenegro is. Uh, Valachia is flag. It's the flag culture, and I, as you see here, most of the territories are controlled by flags. Only the king is Bulgarian. And around here, Bujak is also flag. The Bruja is Bulgarian. Transylvania is Bulgarian, but a lot of a lot of guys around here are uh, flag descended. Uh, Mogyars, Bulgarians a lot. I'm curious about the lords. Yeah, a lot of them are Bulgarians, I see. Vratsa, Bulgarian, Vidin, Bulgarian. Interesting. And the king or the duck, dukes of uh, Raska is uh, Bran, Bran, a Serb. So, yeah. See some Greeks around here. Raphael. Well, that's good. It's a big and it's a good world. A big Mongolia we have here. The Kazakh culture. We have Sapmi. This is kind of rare to see uh, Sami doing that good. Mostly because of us. <laughs> because we allow them to grow here. So the Sami culture now flourish above the Finnish and the other. Uh, you know Greek cultures and they have a big big empire here in the north or kingdom King Lav Rojas well as I said before England is full of uh, Nordic people actual few people uh, control the Gaelic people are basically none ruling a kingdom here in the north uh, no, uh, if you, well, you can count this Norse Gael and Gaelo Norse or the Anglo Welsh Anglo Saxon as uh, Celtic cultures, but well, they are a hybrid of cultures. A lot of religions, as you see here. Yeah, Sorbia and Bohemia has been uh, converted. Well, Bohemia was basically. Uh, subjugate, subjugated by uh, this guy that has the, the title of Pomerania. I have the kingdom here. Let's grant it, grant to someone this title. I think to the Munso or to the Kraka or the Akra. I don't know. Or the Hammer. Let's give it the Hammer. What's his? Let's grant him the kingdom of Pomerania. Grant a uh, vassal. Let's give him what? I grant him England. No way, bro. Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> Never mind. Leave it like that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's give him also the kingdom of. Oh, I grant him the kingdom of Pomerania. What? Anyway. Let's let's continue. Grand titles. Let's con give her uh, Denmark, and that's it. We have Queen Ronhildr and this guy, and we are now so powerful. So yeah, guys, uh, this I think is the last, maybe the last episode. Depends on you, on the views I got that I will get uh, the likes that I will get and the comments of course and shall, I shall continue if, if I have everything necessary to continue this uh, series if not this will be the end thank you for watching and see you in the next one goodbye